Hi, it's Kristen from Pratt Scraps. I am just um, showing you the Lotsa Llama ephemera pack that I won from Cheeky Studios last month um, in May. And I you made a layout and I posted it on there using some of their, what was it, pandemonium ephemera. And I posted it on their Facebook page and then I was chosen as the winner that month. And I got some fun stuff. I, I got this pack of Lotsa Llama ephemera. Those sequin packs are some that I ordered um, a few months ago from them. And then also that Vibes. It's The color is called Princess. And uh, yeah, I knew right away when I opened the package that I had the picture. <laughs> I knew exactly the picture that I wanted to use to scrapbook. It's my youngest and her. But first, let me take a selfie. And if you can see just a little bit of her... Um, if you can see her face, you can just see her sass and her, you can hear her saying, let me take a selfie. That's how she says it. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's, um, these are actually two paper pads that one of my daycare families gave me. They, I don't know, just out of the blue showed up one day with a little gift bag and some paper in it and um, these are two of the pads that were in there. Just a uh, thank you, we appreciate you kind of gift. And I thought it was really sweet, so I knew that the next time I found myself in my scrapbook room, I would be using some of these papers. Um, this one is from the, it's called Mint Julep, and it's a color block. Um, I believe they told me they got it from, on Amazon. So, I just thought the colors would work well with the layout and the picture that I was using. I kind of went through the ephemera and separated it all. There's so much ephemera in that pack. There's a lot of ephemera. So I did kind of spread it all out and check it out. <laughs> so I'm just going to decide. I have had this idea in my head for a while. We've just been so busy with the kids starting softball, finishing up soccer, gymnastics, and end of the year, and field trips, and concerts and orchestra concerts and choir concerts and everything that I finally got a few minutes this morning and was able to get in here and make this. So it's always been my idea to kind of have these different llamas because I knew there were a bunch of different, you know, different looks, different um, poses, and different size llamas, and whatever, so I wanted to use them all in one layout. Just kind of fiddle around with this for a little while until I get everybody where I want them. I think in the end they end up in a very similar location. But, and then I love her, I love these flowers. I love the flowers that Tuesday makes that's my next purchase is some flower ephemera packs I'm not sure if these are supposed to be leaves or trees but I'm pretending that they're leaves they maybe are supposed to be trees but don't care and then this pack in, that I'm going to use is actually a little free pack that came in my order just a variety of little tiny um, little tiny sequins and some bows, some big yellow bows. They weren't the, quite the right shade of yellow, so I didn't use the bows. But those would have been cute on here too. I'm watching a very weird show on you on Netflix while I'm doing this. It's called Rain, and it's weird, very weird. It's about a rain that has a virus in it, and it's killing the whole world. And I don't know, it's very strange. And it's weird because it started raining while I was doing this layout. But so far, so good. We're all still here. Here's my gesso that I need to get a new one. It's about done here. And it's really gloopy. I pretty much knew I was going to focus on this kind of center stripe area when I did my 
layout today, so I didn't really, I didn't put the gesso all over the place, just in the center. And I don't, I mean, in hindsight, I don't know if I really needed to put gesso down, but I did. I was really excited to use a lot of this stuff. There's really no purple in any of these ephemera that llamas, but I decided that purple and mint, they're going to be my colors. So take this princess. And I'm always trying to think of, you know, something else to do that maybe not everybody else is doing, like the smushing technique. This is basically the smushing technique. I just used a dry wipe instead of a um, piece of plastic, and then I just laid the paper towel over the top. I really like the pattern that's left behind when you pick up the, the pattern and texture that's left behind when you pick up the paper towel, So, and it makes it dry a lot quicker. You can't really tell in the video, but there's just a slight... There's kind of a circular diamond pattern in the um, paper towel, so it leaves that impression in the gesso. I'm going to take this green wood grain that I had chosen, attach that down. I need to swipe off this table that I work on, and, or island, and reorganize it. It's just, it's a little crowded. I've got too many things around me. I decided that's a little bit too harsh. That I like the that light purple and green together, but it was just a little bit too much. So I decided to use the kindergarten technique and <laughs> finger paint all over this green stripe. This green paper is a little bit thin, so you can kind of see it gets a little wrinkly. There you can see kind of the pattern that's left behind in the paper towel. So, I know that a lot of this is going to be covered up by all those cute llamas, so you don't get too, too worried about it. That's pretty much how my background ends up. Oh yeah, put some more, brighten up the splatters a little. And I'm going to see what I'm going to do with this picture and mount it on a piece of the green wood grain and it kind of has a little bit of light blue it, there's a little blue in that wood green so it doesn't look um, her shirt isn't really mint green it's light blue so I feel like this paper was a good choice because it kind of had that um, minty light blue ish wash of color so she it looked good and then I didn't, I didn't um, put any gesso on that background. I just left it true. My dirty hands. They're all, that's all right. I like it. Drying up some last little bits of splatter. Get my llamas back in their spots. I end up using the Tombow Mono um, adhesive. And... I like it, but it's really sticky. You don't have a lot of time because I like to, you know, tuck things behind and you kind of have to be thinking. <laughs> it's just kind of hard for me sometimes to think ahead. But I just think they're so cute. Some are wearing scarves and some have flowers and some have little saddles or probably not saddles, they're probably like blankets. And I don't think any two llamas are the same in these. I think I used all different llamas. And I liked how they, when they were designed, some are looking to the right and some are looking to the left and some are facing forward. So all the llamas on the left of the picture, they're all facing the picture and all the llamas on the right are facing the picture. And then there's a couple the three there that are facing towards us, or I guess the viewer. So I thought it was it was very well thought out. Whoever I, Tuesday, I believe, designed these, and she did a great job. I don't know if Bab have anything to do with it, but I think Tuesday's the designer. If 
from what I've gathered from watching their live streams and different things. I remember watching Tuesday when I first started watching YouTube videos years ago, and there was no Babs. There was, it was just Tuesday and doing her layouts, and there are a lot of, about her daughters, and, and then pretty soon Babs was in the picture. So, you know, I've never met Tuesday, but I feel like I know her just from watching her videos. <laughs> Now, I'm work on the cluster up on the top. I didn't like those words. I can't remember where she, where we are, that she has these random, I don't know. I have no idea where we are. Like that weird sign in the back, I didn't like it, so. I covered it up the best I can without covering up her face or her hair. And there is that random back of the head, person's head, so. That stays, there's really nothing I can do about that, but it's all right. But there's no importance of where we are when this picture was taken, so that's why I didn't mind covering up the background like that. Sometimes I like to keep the background obvious so that you can look at the picture, and if the journaling doesn't include where we were, or if that's important to the story, then um, you can see it in the picture, but... In a situation like this, it was all about her t-shirt and the tude that was coming out in this picture. So, of all these pretty colors, I end up using these kind of iridescent clear sequins. It's so weird. Last week here, where I live in northern Minnesota, it was hot, like hot, humid, hot, 90, 90 degree weather. And now this morning I wake up and I have a hooded sweatshirt on because it's cold. It's like 60 degrees. I mean, less than 48 hours ago, it was hot. So I thought I'd try these little um, yellow flower star shapes and put them in the middle of the sequins, but I didn't really end up liking how that looked. Sometimes I just don't know until I try it, so I have to try it. So, but I like the little tinies with the big, bigger sequins. And there's just enough glue on the tip of that um, quick stick from We Are Memory Keepers that I um, am able to pick those little babies up because they are tiny and put them on the glue blobs. So we're getting close to the end of my layout. I didn't really have much to journal because it's pretty self-explanatory. There's lots of llamas. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a little title on here. It's not very original. It's just llama take a selfie. But it kind of finishes, this off, finishes it off a little bit, I feel. So you'll just see me place all the letters. I have two sheets of the same colors and I try to use up the one you know before I take an L from the next page or an M or whatever I try to use up the one the page that's missing the most and I do that often when I have multiple sheets of the same alphabet I try to use up one first which is just fine I was going to get the wax paper out, but I was kind of feeling like, okay, this is taking, I'm almost ready to be done here with this page, so I don't really want to fuss with all the wax paper and cutting it out and laying it everything, because it really didn't, I had ideas in my head. If it didn't fit going across like this, if I didn't have enough room, then I was going to divide up the title in a different way. But this ended up working, almost like I planned it. Almost left the F out. There it is. And then the E fits perfect. Right there. And then I think I'm just going to put a quick date on here. Oh, for a second I thought, oh, I need something right below the word take a, take a selfie. I wanted to put something in that little space above those llamas' heads. And then you'll see what I decide. It's a little sunshine. I think it looks cute. So I put it on there. Now I think I date it. And then I'll just trim it up, and that's my layout. 
I hope you enjoyed watching it. Check out Cheeky Studios if you haven't. Um, they have some fun stuff. Their Facebook page is uh, Cheeky Studio, and it's great. Thanks. Bye.